Shadows draped the sprawling manor like a mourning veil as Samantha Ray stepped from the limousine. Gravel crunched beneath her heels, each step an echo of the hollowness in her chest. Hollowgate Estate. Her father's domain. A place of faded grandeur and whispered secrets. Secrets that had died with him. Or so she'd thought. The summons had come three days ago. A letter edged in black. Her inheritance, it claimed. Her birthright. But as Samantha stared up at the looming facade, a chill skittered down her spine. Inheritance or curse. She shook off the foreboding and climbed the marble steps, the massive oak door swinging open before she could knock. A figure filled the doorway, tall and broad, face obscured by shadow. Miss Ray, die? His voice was a rumble, deep and rich as distant thunder. We've been expecting you. As he stepped into the light, Samantha's breath caught, piercing green eyes and a ruggedly handsome face a face that might have been carved from the same stone as the gargoyles leering from the roofline. I'm Ethan, the groundskeeper. He extended a hand, calluses scraping her palm as she shook it. A tingle raced up her arm, and she snatched her hand back. What was wrong with her? She was here to bury her father, not swoon over the help. Even if said help had the brooding magnetism of a Bronte hero. Ethan arched a brow but said nothing merely sweeping his arm in invitation. Samantha crossed the threshold, her heels clicking on the black and white tiles. The foyer soared three stories high, a chandelier dripping crystal tears from the ceiling. Generations of rays gazed down from gilded portraits, their eyes seeming to follow her every move. At the foot of the grand staircase stood the woman who'd made Samantha's childhood a living hell. Sylvia Ray, her stepmother. Still beautiful still cold as the diamonds glittering at her throat. Samantha, date? Sylvia's smile was a razor blade. How good of you to come. Samantha stiffened. I could hardly refuse, considering the circumstances. Ah, yes. Your poor father. Sylvia dabbed at a non-existent tear. Such a tragedy. Samantha's hands curled into fists. Tragedy, or suspicious coincidence. Her father, dead of an apparent heart attack, just days after changing his will, leaving everything to her, his only biological child. She'd never trusted Sylvia. The woman had blown into their lives when Samantha was ten, all charm and silk and poison smiles. She'd wed Samantha's father in a whirlwind, then set about making Samantha's life miserable. Nothing overt. Nothing Samantha could point to. Just a steady drip of belittlement, of exclusion, of making sure Samantha knew she would never measure up to Sylvia's own children, Declan and Ophelia. The bane of Samantha's existence, swanning into the foyer like they owned the place. Which, until recently, they practically had. Declan, with his wolfish grin and roving eyes. Ophelia, all sly malice and patent insincerity. They flanked her now, sharks scenting blood. Cousin, Dot, Declan raked her with a gaze that left her feeling unclean. You look ravishing. Grief agrees with you. Beside her, Ethan stiffened. Interesting. Ophelia tittered. It's just so awful, isn't it? Losing Uncle Victor so suddenly. She blinked wide, guileless eyes. Samantha didn't believe the act for a second. Yes, she bit out. Awful. Sylvia clapped her hands. Well, well, you must be exhausted from your trip. Ethan, show Samantha to her suite. It wasn't a request. Samantha followed Ethan up the sweeping staircase, all too aware of his solid presence at her back. She waited until they'd rounded the corner before speaking. So, how long have you worked here? He glanced at her, something unreadable in those striking eyes. Long enough. She huffed. Could you be any more vague? The corner of his mouth twitched. If I tried. Insufferable man. Distractingly attractive, insufferable man. He stopped at a door carved with swirling roses. Your rooms, Miss Ray. Samantha stepped past him, catching a whiff of pine and sandalwood. Her pulse stuttered. The suite was just as she remembered. All antique elegance, 
the rose motif carried throughout. She loved it as a child. An escape from Sylvia's barbs and machinations. Now, it felt hollow. Empty of the laughing girl she'd once been. Empty of her father. Grief rose up, sudden and choking. She turned away, blinking hard. Damn it. She would not cry in front of this virtual stranger. But when Ethan spoke, his voice was gentle. It's all right to grieve, Miss Ray. He was your father. Something cracked in Samantha's chest. She whirled, words tumbling over themselves. Was it? Was it grief that killed him? Or something more sinister? Ethan went still. What are you saying? She paced, agitation crackling through her veins. The timing is too convenient. Dad changes his will, and days later, he's dead? She shook her head. Sylvia hated him naming me his heir. She wanted everything for her precious spawn. He watched her, something like approval warming his gaze. You think your stepfamily had something to do with his death? Wouldn't put it past them. She raked a hand through her hair. Dad had was healthy as a horse? This wasn't natural. Ethan folded his arms, the movement pulling his shirt taut across his chest. Samantha determinedly kept her eyes on his face. You may be right, he said slowly. There's been an unhealthy sort of anticipation in the house these last few weeks. Like vultures circling. A shudder worked through her. She met his gaze head on. Will you help me? Help me find the truth? A shadow crossed his face, there and gone. I'll do what I can. But, Miss Ray, be careful. There's more at work here than you know. With that cryptic warning, he inclined his head and left. Samantha stared after him, pulse a ragged throb. What secrets was he hiding behind those fathomless eyes? And why did she want, with a sudden, reckless desperation, to uncover them all? Night fell velvet and star-strewn, as Samantha picked at her dinner. The dining room was a mausoleum, conversation curdling in the air. Sylvia presided over the table like a queen, smile sharp as shattered glass. Declan oozed insincere sympathy, while Ophelia's eyes glittered with malice. And through it all, Samantha felt Ethan's gaze, searing between her shoulder blades. The weight of it warred with her grief, her suspicions. The instinct that screened all was not as it seemed. More wine, Samantha? Sylvia asked Saccharine. Samantha gritted her teeth and endured. She was playing a role here, smiling through her rage. But soon she'd slip the mask. Soon she'd discover what festered beneath Hollowgate's genteel veneer. And heaven help those who stood in her way. Because Samantha Ray was done being a pawn. Now she would be the queen. Samantha's footsteps echoed through the cavernous halls of Hollowgate, a restless tattoo beating in time with her heart. Sleep had proven elusive, her father's ghost dogging her dreams. She'd woken tangled in sweat-soaked sheets, his voice ringing in her ears. Find the truth, Sammy girl. Set it free. But what truth? What secrets had he taken to his grave? She turned a corner and nearly collided with a wall of muscle. Strong hands gripped her arms, steadying her. She looked up into Ethan's fathomless green eyes. Miss Ray? His voice was a rumble she felt in her bones. You're up early. Samantha stepped back, immediately missing his warmth. Couldn't sleep? He searched her face, seeing too much. Nightmares? She hugged herself, chilled despite the thick robe. Memories. My dad, he's trying to tell me something. I just don't know what. Ethan glanced around, then lowered his voice. Come with me. Come with me. There is something you should see. He led her through a labyrinth of corridors, down, down into the bowels of the manor. Samantha's skin prickled, the air growing colder, damper. Where are we going? Your father's private study. Ethan produced a key, old and ornate. He entrusted it to me before he died. Made me swear to show you, and only you. The lock clicked, the door swinging open on protesting hinges. Samantha stepped inside, breath catching. The room was a time capsule, 
exactly as she remembered. Bookshelves towered to the ceiling, leather-bound volumes gleaming in the weak light. Her father's mahogany desk dominated the space, blotter pristine, pens lined up like soldiers. And everywhere, pictures of her. Gap-toothed and pigtailed, a laughing child. Solomon, in her graduation robes, diploma clutched tight. Her entire life, preserved by a father's love. Tears burned her eyes, grief a living thing clawing up her throat. Ethan's hand found hers, rough and warm. An anchor in the tempest. She clung to him, shoulders shaking with silent sobs. He held her, murmuring comfort into her hair. When the storm passed, she drew back, scrubbing her cheeks. I'm sorry. I just... Don't apologize. His thumb brushed away a lingering tear. You loved him. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Something shifted in the air between them, electric and yearning. Samantha swayed towards him, caught in his orbit. A creak shattered the moment, floorboards groaning beyond the door. They sprang apart, pulses galloping. Ethan pressed a finger to his lips, then crept to the door. He eased it open, peering into the gloom. Silence. He turned back to her, face grim. We need to hurry. Samantha swallowed past her racing heart. What am I looking for? Your father said you'd know it when you saw it. That it would be obvious, once you stopped looking with your eyes and started looking with your heart. Frustration bubbled up, hot and bitter. More riddles, more cryptic clues. How is she supposed to unravel this mystery with nothing but ghosts and gut feelings? But she trusted her father. And, heaven help her, she was starting to trust Ethan, too. She scanned the room, gaze snagging on the massive portrait above the fireplace. Her father, younger, less careworn. And beside him, then her mother, Stella Ray, forever frozen in time, forever beautiful. An aching pang lanced through Samantha. Her mother had died when she was barely two, victim of the same weak heart that had claimed her father. Or so the story went. Samantha frowned. She'd always felt a disconnect there, some vital piece that didn't fit. Her father was the healthiest man she'd ever known. To be felled by a heart attack so suddenly. Realization crashed over her like icy water. She lunged for the desk, yanking open drawers, scattering papers. It had to be here. He must have left it for her. The breadcrumb to lead her out of the forest. There. De Tucked into a false bottom, a slim leather volume. No title. Just a single word embossed in gold. Stella dot die is a you. Only one gal more. With shaking hands, Samantha cracked the spine. Elegant script danced across the pages, achingly familiar. Her mother's journal. Ethan read over her shoulder, his breath stirring her hair. Together, they lost themselves in a dead woman's words. And with every page, every revelation, the truth took shape. Monstrous and undeniable. Samantha's mother hadn't died of a heart defect. She'd been murdered. Murdered by the same hand that had, decades later, murdered her father. Sylvia. Dot. The journal fell from Samantha's numb fingers. Rage and grief warred within her, a boiling, bubbling morass. Her father's death she had suspected. But her mother. She took them both from me. Her voice cracked, splintered. She stole my family, my life. And for what? Money? Power? Ethan gripped her shoulders, eyes burning into hers. We'll stop her, Samantha. We'll make her pay. I swear it. She believed him. In that moment, she believed anything was possible, as long as he was by her side. The journal had unlocked more than just her family's tragic past. It had revealed a decades-long pattern of lies, manipulation, even murder. All leading back to Sylvia. Samantha's stepmother hadn't married her father for love. She'd done it for the Ray fortune, vast and sprawling. And when Samantha had been named sole heir, Sylvia's web had begun to unravel. 
Ethan's jaw clenched as he read the damning words. She's a psychopath. She'll never stop, not until she has everything. Samantha met his gaze, cold purpose crystallizing in her gut. Then we'll stop her. Tonight, dot. It ends now. A plan took shape, dark and dangerous. It whispered of endings and beginnings. Samantha had come to Hollowgate broken, lost. She would leave it forged in the fire of her rage, her love, her indomitable will. She was a ray, and a ray never backed down from a fight. They barely made it back to her rooms before all hell broke loose. Shouts echoed up the stairs, pounding footsteps, shattering glass. Sylvia had discovered the theft, and she was on the warpath. Samantha and Ethan exchanged a charged glance, pulses pounding in sync. The final act was upon them, the chess pieces moving into place. Samantha straightened her spine, chin high. She thought of her father, her mother, of the love they'd shared, the life they should have had. She would avenge them. She would claim her birthright. And she would savor every scream, every plea as Sylvia's empire of lies came crashing down around her perfectly coiffed head. Let the bitch burn. Sylvia's shrieks battered the door, a banshee's wail of fury and frustration. Samantha, open this door, you ungrateful brat. Samantha braced against the barricade, heart slamming against her ribs. Ethan loomed at her side, coiled and ready, a jungle cat poised to strike. The journal burned against her chest, tucked safe in her pocket. The key to everything, the final piece of the puzzle. With it, she could unravel Sylvia's web of deceit, avenge her parents, claim her legacy. But first, she had to survive the night. The window, Ethan growled, green eyes glittering in the candlelight. It's our only chance. Samantha nodded, throat tight. Trusting him came as easy as breathing, as natural as her own heartbeat. When had this man, this stranger, become her North Star? Her safe harbor in the storm? She shoved the thought away. Now is not the time for soul searching. Now is the time for action, for blood and reckoning. They crept to the window, Sylvia's howls chasing their heels. Ethan wrenched it open, the cool night air a balm on Samantha's fevered skin. Below, the grounds of Hollowgate stretched into shadow, a labyrinth of secrets and sorrow. Somewhere in that darkness, answers waited. Retribution hungered. Ethan swung a leg over the sill, then held out a hand, eyes, molten. Do you trust me, Samantha? She clasped his fingers, calluses rasping her palm. In that moment, she knew she would follow this man into hell itself. With my life. His lips quirked a ghost of a smile. Then they were falling, plummeting into the abyss, the night swallowing them whole. They hit the ground running, Sylvia's screams fading behind them. Hand in hand they raced across the lawn, the dew-kissed grass cold on Samantha's bare feet. Her lungs burned, legs aching, but she pushed harder, faster. She could feel it, the truth, just out of reach. A nightmare's end, a new dawn's promise. Ethan led her into the heart of the hedge maze, twists and turns she'd once played in as a child, innocent and unafraid. Now, the shadows held teeth, the thorns dripped venom. At the center they stumbled to a halt, chests heaving. Samantha clawed the journal from her pocket, fingers shaking as she fumbled for the passage that had seared itself into her brain. It's here, she panted, eyes fever bright. The proof we need. Mom's last entry the night she died? She'd overhead Sylvia plotting with someone, planning to kill Dad, to make it look like an accident. Ethan's jaw clenched, a muscle ticking in his cheek. All for the money. For the Ray Empire. Samantha nodded, by scorching her throat. But Mom was going to stop her. She was going to the police to expose everything. Only, um, and, uh, well, uh, Ah, shh. Interrule. Only she never made it. Ethan's voice was a rasp, raw with shared agony. Sylvia got to her first. Samantha closed her eyes, tears scalding her cheeks. 
So much loss, so much pain. All because of one woman's greed, her soulless hunger. But it ended tonight. The scales would be balanced, the ghosts laid to rest. Ethan cupped her face, thumbs sweeping away the tears. We'll make this right, Samantha. I swear it. Your parents will have justice. She leaned into his touch, drawing strength from the solid heat of him. In the chaos, the madness, he was her anchor, her port in the storm. The snap of a twig shattered the moment, a gunshot in the silence. They whirled, pulses pounding. Sylvia stepped from the shadows, a silver pistol glinting in her hand. At her side, Declan and Ophelia smirked, twin vipers poised to strike. Well, well. Sylvia's voice dripped venom, eyes flint hard. The prodigal daughter and the loyal dog. What a cozy little scene. Samantha stepped forward, chin high, the journal clutched to her chest. It's over, Sylvia. We know everything. My mother's journal tells the whole sordid tale. Sylvia snarled, lips peeling back from teeth. You know nothing, you mewling quim. Your mother was a weak fool who didn't know her place. Just like your father. They had to be dealt with. Ethan lunged, a roar ripping from his throat. Sylvia swung the gun, aiming point-blank at his chest. Ah, ah! One more step and I paint the roses red. Samantha's heart seized. Terror, a living thing clawing up her throat. Not him, her soul screamed. Not him, too. She forced herself to focus, to think, to believe, as her parents once had. You'll never get away with this, Sylvia. The police will... The police? Sylvia threw back her head and laughed, a jagged, glittering sound. Oh, you poor, stupid girl. Who do you think helped me dispose of your saintly parents? Ice flooded Samantha's veins, understanding crashing over her like a wave. The police? It was them all along. They were in your pocket, covering up your crimes. Beauty and brains. Such a shame I'll have to waste it. Sylvia cocked the pistol, the click obscenely loud in the stillness. Ethan tensed, coiled to spring. Time slowed, heartbeats stretching into infinity. Samantha closed her eyes, and she prayed. Not to God, not to the angels or the saints, but to her parents, to the love that had created her, the love that even now pulsed warm and bright beneath her skin. Their love was her skin, her armor, her sword, and shield. It was everything, and it was enough. More than enough. Daddy, she whispered. Mommy, be with me now. Power surged through her, a writhing, scorching tide. Her eyes flew open, fixing on her stepmother, her tormentor, her nightmare made flesh. The woman who had taken everything from her. The woman who would take nothing more. Sylvia. Key. Samantha's voice rang out clear and cold as winter starlight. Burn in hell. And the world exploded. Later, the police would call it a freak lightning strike. A billion to one odds, a tragic accident. Tragic, Samantha thought, staring at the smoking crater where her stepmother had stood. What a delightfully appropriate word. Declan and Ophelia had fled, rats deserting the sinking ship. Let them run. They were nothing, less than nothing. Shadows and dust. All that mattered, all that had ever mattered, was the man at her side. The man who even now held her close, an unbreakable shelter. It's over, Ethan murmured into her hair, wonder and awe thrumming in his voice. It's done, Samantha. You're free. She turned in his arms, tilting her face to his. In his eyes, she saw her past, her present, her future. She saw forever, and she wasn't afraid. No, she whispered, heart soaring, soul singing. We're free. And then his lips were on hers, and there was no more need for words. The kiss was a wildfire, scorching her, remaking her, forging her anew. Samantha poured herself into the kiss, into him. Her heart, her hopes, her dreams, her very soul. For this man, for this love, she would burn the world to ash and rebuild it from the embers. In the distance, 
The sun crested the horizon, painting the sky in shades of hope and possibility. A new day, a new beginning. And Samantha and Ethan, twined together, stepped out of the shadows and into the light. No more secrets. No more lies. No more fear. Only love, bright and fierce and forever. Only them and the glorious, shining, unwritten future. The End